You're watching the Financial News Network. I'm Stephanie Shu. A seawater sample taken near Japan's stricken Fukushima nuclear power plant indicated levels of radiation at 7.5 million times the legal limit, according to authorities. Japanese government officials issued Tuesday a new radiation health limit in fish for consumption. The sample reading of iodine was taken on Saturday by the Tokyo Electric Power Company. Another sample taken Monday found the radioactive iodine level to be 5 million times the legal limit, while traces of radioactive cesium were 1.1 million times the level allowed. The exact source of the radiation is not yet clear, but TEPCO previously said the leak was coming from the number 2 reactor. Attempts to seal the crack were unsuccessful, but the company announced Tuesday that the leak may be coming now from a weak joint that is allowing radioactive water to seep into the gravel underneath. The plan moving forward is to inject a substance called liquid glass into the gravel to stop up further leakage and to continue releasing low-level radioactive water into the sea to make room for more highly contaminated water in storage tanks. Although the government has approved the release of 11,500 tons of low radioactive water, fish with high readings of iodine have been found. One sand lance was discovered with 4,000 becquerels of iodine-131 per kilogram. Officials then announced Tuesday a new standard of 2,000 becquerels of iodine per kilogram of fish, the same level allowed in vegetables. The government had no previous official radiation level permitted for fish, but the common standard is 500 becquerels per kilogram. TEPCO, the operator of the failed plant, has yet to decide on a final compensation figure for displaced residents and damages, but the company had previously offered a condolence payment of 180 million yen or 2 million U.S. dollars to some evacuated residents. A preliminary estimate indicates compensation in the tens of billions of dollars. For further breaking headlines, stay tuned to the Financial News Network. I'm Stephanie Shu.